welcome to the White Glove Demo for Zen Garden, a simple but challenging game of artful struggle. Zen Garden puts you in the role of master gardeners, carefully sculpting the landscape to reflect your signature pattern. White Glover, I see you've done some gardening of your own. Getting in the spirit? Uh... I think you watch too many kung fu movies, Glover. To set up, sort through the tiles and separate out all of the red lantern tiles. Place all of the remaining tiles in the cloth bag and mix them up a little bit for good measure. Return 12 of the lantern tiles to the box. You won't need them for the basic game. Place one of the remaining lantern tiles in the middle of the table. This will be the first tile of our garden. Mix the last three lantern tiles into the bag with the others. Then, let everyone draw one tile from the bag. The back side of the tile shows a pattern of six tiles. This is your signature pattern, the shape you want to make on the board. Make sure to keep your signature pattern a secret from the other players. Your tile also shows a terrain type that matches one of the four landscapes, rock, trees, grass, and water. The number on the tile isn't used in the basic game, so just ignore it for now. Finally, deal each player a starting hand of three landscape tiles and give each player a set of scoring tokens. Make sure to keep your signature pattern tile separate from your hand. You don't want to get those confused. Now you're ready to play. The youngest player takes the first turn. Yes, Glover, I get it. I'm older than rocks. Very cute. Take your turn. On your turn, you add one landscape tile from your hand to the garden. The tile must touch another tile along at least one side. Diagonals aren't allowed. Then, draw a replacement tile from the bag. You can place your landscape tile anywhere adjacent to the garden. You don't have to match up the terrain types, but you do want to build groups. A group is any number of touching tiles with the same terrain type. The object of the game is to form groups that match your signature pattern. Lantern tiles are wild, meaning they can count as any terrain type. One lantern tile can be part of multiple groups. So this is a group of three trees, this is a group of three ponds, and this is a group of two grasses. Instead of placing a tile next to the garden, you may choose to replace a lantern with another tile from your hand. However, you may only exchange a lantern for a tile that matches one of the lantern's neighbors. So this lantern could become water, grass, or a tree. When you replace a lantern, immediately place it somewhere else in the garden. Right there looks pretty good. Take turns adding tiles to the garden until someone decides to reveal their signature pattern. You may reveal your pattern at the end of your turn if you can find your pattern in at least two groups of different terrain types. The first player to reveal their pattern card gets five points. Every other player immediately gets four points. Yes, Glover, even though they haven't done anything yet, but they'd better hurry at the end of every turn, if you haven't revealed, you lose one point. You can also score some bonus points when you reveal. If one of your groups matches the symbol on your pattern tile, then you score one extra point. For each matching group that doesn't use a lantern, you score an extra point. If you manage to find your pattern in three groups when you reveal, you score four extra points. Play continues until all players have revealed or until the remaining players are out of point tokens. Then, the player with the most points wins. You can either end the game here or you can play the extended game. Write down everybody's scores and play another round. Keep playing until someone ends the game with more than 20 points. Then, the player with the most points is the winner. You can also try out the Rock Garden variant if you feel like a longer, more complex game. Now, you have a hand of tiles that can be used for patterns or for landscapes, and you try to place your tokens in the garden based on either the landscape type or the area size of a group on the board. 
And that's Zen Garden, a quiet, contemplative game of patterns and patience for two to four players. <sighs> you really don't do quiet and contemplative, do you, Glover? 